Trailing badly. Wolowitz needs a strike if he has any hopes of catching up with Sheldon Cooper, who is dominating in the ninth frame with a career best 68. <laughs> in Wee Bowling. <laughs> there are always do-overs when my people play sports. <laughs> Where were you that's more important than Wee Bowling Night? Actually, I was... It's a rhetorical question. There is nothing more important than Wee Bowling Night. <laughs> Come on, it's just a video game. And we suck at it. <gasps> nice motivational speech from the team captain. <laughs> Where were you? I was working with Dave Underhill. Ooh, Dave. Sounds like Leonard's got a new BFF. <laughs> Actually, he's pretty cool. I mean, not only is he a brilliant scientist, but it turns out he's a black diamond skier. He collects vintage motorcycles. He plays in a rock band. So? We're in a rock band? No. <laughs> we play rock band on our Xbox. Nice motivational speech from our lead guitarist. He's funny, too. He does this hysterical impersonation of Stephen Hawking having phone sex. <laughs> What are you wearing? <laughs> That's not, he does it better. <laughs> anyway, he said he was gonna take me to the gym tomorrow, so I'm gonna go practice my sit-ups. Whoa, humongous man crush, dude. <laughs> yep, it's officially a bromance. Hey, Sheldon, are you and Leonard putting up a Christmas tree? No, because we don't celebrate the ancient pagan festival of Saturnalia. <laughs> Saturnalia? Gather round, kids. It's time for Sheldon's beloved Christmas special. In the pre-Christian era, as the winter solstice approached and the plants died, pagans brought evergreen boughs into their homes as an act of sympathetic magic intended to guard the life essences of the plants until spring. Uh, this custom was later appropriated by northern Europeans, and eventually it becomes the so-called Christmas tree. And that, Charlie Brown, is what boredom is all about. Thank you for that, but I got you and Leonard a few silly neighbor gifts, so I'll just put them under my tree. The wait! You bought me a present? Uh-huh. Well, why would you do such a thing? I don't know, because it's Christmas. Oh, Penny! I know you think you're being generous, but the foundation of gift-giving is reciprocity. You haven't given me a gift. You've given me an obligation. Don't feel bad, Penny. It's a classic rookie mistake. My first Hanukkah with Sheldon, he yelled at me for eight nights. Oh, honey, it's okay. You don't have to get me anything in return. Well, of course I do. The essence of the custom is that I now have to go out and purchase for you a gift of commensurate value and representing the same perceived level of friendship as that represented by the gift you've given me. Well, it's no wonder suicide rates skyrocket this time of year. Forget it. I'm not giving you a present. No, he's too late. I see it. That elf sticker says to Sheldon. <laughs> the, the die has been cast. The moving finger has writ. Hannibal has crossed the Alps. <laughs> I know it's funny when it's not happening to us. Sheldon, I am very, very sorry. You no, know, no. I brought this on myself by being such an endearing and important part of your life. <laughs> I'm going to need a ride to the mall. It's happening to us. 